All right, we continue along on Saturday. Next up, the Cure Bowl. This is at uh, Orlando, Florida, FBC Mortgage Stadium. Oh, it's not Mercedes-Benz Superdome anymore. I should say it's Caesars Superdome now. Sorry, I got the sponsor wrong Caesars. with uh, New Orleans. Yeah, Caesars Superdome. This is the Cure Bowl in Orlando. Miami, Ohio, Red Hawks out of the MAC. Appalachian State, the Sun Belt runners up, of course, losing in the uh, Sun Belt Championship game to Troy. Uh, Appalachian State, six-point favorites, 44. Well, it looks like the total is 44 and a half, 45, 45 and a half, 46. So we've got some split numbers with the uh, total uh, here in this one with Miami O and App State. This is a team that you got to be careful with, Miami O. Miami O, you think of them, usually I like them in the underdog role. And my first thought when I saw this bull matchup was, boy, maybe take the points here with Miami. We know they're the better defensive team. App State has not been a great defensive team this year. Their offense has been good with Aguilar. At quarterback, they've been able to move the football, but the defense hasn't been anything uh, all that special. You've got the better defense catching points, but then you start to see what's going on with Miami O. And uh, starting quarterback, Avion Smith is in the transfer portal, so he's out of the plan in this game. They've already lost Brett Gabbert, their number one quarterback, uh, for uh, the season due to injury. So that leaves Miami O down to Henry Hessen uh, at quarterback, their third QB on the depth chart here for this bowl game and this is a guy that's only had five pass attempts uh, in college so not a very experienced signal caller under center for Miami O now here in this game that's not what you want to see and it's it's probably enough to keep me off the Miami O side quite honestly because you know if this offense for or this defense is good but you know if this offense struggles with a guy that's barely you know thrown a pass in college uh, and they're and they're going three and out, three and out all the time. Even a good defense is eventually going to get worn down. And with all due respect to Miami O's defense, you know they the, the MAC to me did not have a lot of great offenses this year outside of Toledo. Ohio underachieved on offense. Buffalo wasn't a great offense. You know you go on down the list. There was just not a slew of really really good offensive teams uh, in the MAC conference this year. And App State, the one thing they do have is they've got a great balanced offense. Aguilar played well. Uh, they've got speed, the likes of which they don't see often in the MAC either, Miami O, you know, and that could be a challenge for them. So initially, I lean Miami O, but then you start to read the tea leaves. You see Avion Smith in the transfer portal. They're down to the third quarterback, you know, you, and you wonder too, after beating and upsetting Toledo in the MAC championship game, I've seen this before with these teams that have that big upset win in the championship game, that's like their Super Bowl. The bowl game is like an afterthought, you know, after winning the championship in the conference. So I'm worried about that mindset for Miami where Chuck Martin's team just rolls in here and just treats it like a vacation, if you will, or a, or a getaway rather than a football game that they're really, really dead set on winning. So I'd actually lean App State now, but I don't know if I'm going to bet this uh, particular bowl game. What do you think here, Connor? Yeah, I don't know if I... Bet this too. Uh, no Smith. Miami, Ohio, excellent, I thought, in that game, you know, in the MAC championship. Uh, I had the under, I had the money line and the points. Uh, so that was great. One thing I think they can do, I think, you know, App State will move the ball, but I think they're going to find out this Miami, Ohio defense is, is pretty good, <laughs> you know, and but we're going to see the, the whole MAC here. Like, you know, a team like Miami, Ohio against uh, a team like App State from the uh, Sun Belt, eight and five, pretty good record. They can run it, though. One thing, App State's defense, I thought it got better as the year went on, uh, but they do give it up because this is they're just going to have to run it. That's what Miami and this offense with no Smith, they already was with him, <laughs> you know, being in there at QB. But uh, I noticed, you know, almost 180 yards a game App State gives up. So I think they could hang around. Now, is this enough? I need over. I wanted over the touchdown to kind of look Miami, Ohio. I thought in this game, I think uh, App State just a little bit better uh, on all facets. So, yeah, I might be off. I still kind of lean under my this Miami, Ohio team has made me nothing but money all year. So it's kind of like I just maybe stay off here to the under and taking their points. So, uh, yeah. I have too much respect for Miami O and their defense and them as an underdog, which has been a good bet over the years, uh, especially the last couple yeah. when they've had this better team, better defense, not to mention App State's run defense. Go look at the numbers. It's not pretty. 
for App State stopping the run. And that could be the pathway to Miami O hanging around potentially uh, in this game. If they're able to establish the run, take pressure off this young quarterback that's barely thrown any. Now, they could look to stack the box. I'm sure they know it too. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, about the fact that they're down to a number three quarterback here. Stack the box, take Rashad Amos, Kevin Davis, the two running backs. Uh, out of the equation and load up on the run and dare the quarterback to beat them. But uh, still, uh, that's a run defense that hasn't been great this year. And that's pre- predominantly how Miami moves the football is through uh, on the ground. So uh, definitely keep that in mind. So it's a tricky game. But uh, like I said, I initially really liked Miami in this bowl game. But with the opt-outs, that's all often the writing on the wall for me. Because I find last year when I saw opt-outs uh, like crazy with one particular team, that team ended up playing disastrously more often than not in the bowl game. So that's always a concern right now. Like I say, the transfer portals changed a lot of things. You've really got to see who's in, who's out. uh, And that transfer portals, uh, a big game changer. Now, if you're handicapping bowl season, uh, there's no question about it. 